morning guys so the time is currently 9.01 i've literally just woken up which is why my voice sounds like so croaky and i just sound like well a man i have got a meeting with my counselor at quarter past nine i don't actually need to be anywhere she's just ringing me so i need to be ready to speak to her by quarter past nine so i'm going to be taking you guys around with me today and showing you guys what it's like as a day in the life of being allergic to water <laughs> I'm really lucky because my skin isn't hurting this morning sometimes it can affect my sleeping and how I wake up obviously if I overheat or get a bit hot in the night then I can wake up with an allergic reaction because I'm allergic to my sweat so when I first wake up annoyingly the first thing that I need to do is go for a wee going to the toilet can be really difficult because well pretty much every time I go to the toilet I have an allergic reaction after so I'm gonna get out of bed I'm gonna go to the toilet I'm just opening my blood my curtains to get some natural light in here oh it's quite a nice day to be fair hopefully i'll be able to make it out today so when it comes to going to the toilet i find it really difficult because there's no way that you can do a wee without having any water splash back at you so i've literally tried everything for example i always put tissue down first just to kind of like minimize the splash i've also had toilet seat covers before as well <laughs> So, so far I'm not feeling any pain yet, but it usually takes about 5 or 10 minutes to kick in. But it does always happen after I do a wee that I have an allergic reaction. I don't know why, it just always gets me. So I'm just getting back into bed. By the way guys, if you've noticed, my room is like completely different. I've changed my room around, literally just because I needed it to be easier for me to film. Because at the moment I have to like change everything in my room to get the space to film. But I have just kind of like freed up that white wall over there. Just so that I've got a clear wall that I can sit in front of, film videos, and it's just easy and I don't have to move my whole life around to film a video so i can feel the back of my legs starting to itch on the back of my thighs which will then usually spread like down my legs and sometimes it can spread up my back as well and from going to the toilet an allergic reaction usually lasts about half an hour to 40 minutes so it's starting to get uncomfortable right now but it's not like pain just yet i'm hoping that it can stay calm enough that i can get through my phone call by the way guys before you start suggesting i have literally tried everything to stop myself from having allergic reactions from going to the toilet and um, the allergic reactions to wee is like the main reason why I stopped working because it just got so bad that every time I went to the toilet I was left in pain so it just made it kind of like impossible for me to stay at work all day I know this is a bit personal but I just like to be honest with you so my therapist is now calling so I'm going to take this call so I'm going to set you up over here so that you can see me hello So I've just finished speaking to my therapist. Luckily, because I spoke to her whilst I was in bed, it's given my skin a little bit of a chance to recover. It's definitely not feeling as itchy now. It's just a little bit sore. So I'm going to get my dressing gown on and I'm going to make my way downstairs. going to go and get a coffee, have some breakfast, and I'll just see how I'm feeling after I've done that. So I'm in my kitchen now and I'm about to have breakfast. So I'm just having some cereal. They're literally just some honey nut cornflakes, which are mine and my mum's favourite. I'm really hungry because I have my counselling session so I'm eating a little bit later today than I usually would so I'm gonna munch this and then I cannot wait to have my first cup of coffee So 
So yeah, now I'm gonna get ready. I'm not gonna have a bath today because I only had a bath a few days ago and I aim to have a bath about twice a week just because of how painful it is. It's literally not bearable for me to bath any more frequently than that. So on the days when I'm not having a bath, I usually just have a strip wash, but that is also really painful anyway. So it's not that much better than a bath. So I'm not gonna take you with me. I'm gonna go and have a wash and I'll see you guys afterwards. So guys, I'm back in my bedroom now. I've had a wash and I've cleaned myself up. I've done my hair and I've done my eyebrows. I've got a little bit of concealer under my eyes as well, just to make me look a little bit less dead. I don't feel great after having a wash. Like I am a little bit sore now, definitely, but that's normal for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down, chill out for a bit, just because if I try and move too quickly now, then my skin will be a lot worse in the long run. So if I try and rush getting dressed, start rushing around and start trying to do errands and stuff like that it could actually just leave me in pain for the rest of the day so I'm gonna take it slow I'm still in my dressing gown at the moment so I need to get dressed into something comfortable and loose fitting at least until my skin feels a little bit less sensitive so then I can maybe put like a tracksuit on or some daytime clothes like leggings or something like that so people don't always realize that my skin condition isn't just limited to like water obviously there's a sweat side of things as I said but overall my skin is just so sensitive that literally anything can make it start itching so I have to be careful and I have to be really slow and pace myself with getting ready just because like I say I could just ruin my whole day by trying to get dressed and ready too quickly so yeah I'm gonna go and get changed into something a little bit more comfortable and then I'm gonna get back in bed so for what I'm wearing I'm wearing just a pair of like old night joggers just because they're loose and comfy and then I'm just gonna wear a, literally a black long sleeve top so I have to be careful with the clothes that I wear I always have to go for long sleeved clothes or you know full length joggers or leggings or something like that with a soft material so that it doesn't irritate my skin and I need it to cover like the majority of my skin otherwise I will just have like random allergic reactions so by being exposed and not being covered by clothing it just makes my skin more sensitive I'm not sure why and my doctor doesn't really know why but that is a major part of my condition that people don't realize I'm just gonna get changed into these comfy clothes and then I'm gonna get right back in bed. Only thing is, it's all ready from getting dressed. I can feel my legs starting to itch. So right here on my leg, it's starting to like prickle, almost sharp pains. And it starts off like that. And then it either gets a lot worse and goes to like a full on reaction. Or sometimes if I take it slow and try to rest, then sometimes it can just calm down. I'm gonna put that down to obviously the fact that I've just had a wash. So I've just made my skin sensitive anyway. And then obviously I needed to put some clothes on because as I explained I can't stay without clothes on otherwise I would have a reaction anyway but then obviously now I'm itching because I've put clothes on so <laughs> welcome to my life guys so yeah I'm just laying down and getting comfy I'm kind of sitting up a bit because you know I'm in bed to recover not to sleep and if I lay down I will sleep I'm just gonna chill here for a bit and just give my leg the time to kind of like just rest you know I'm not gonna move too much I'm just gonna stay nice and still and I try not to itch even if I need to but sometimes it does get really bad where I have to itch because otherwise it gets to like a certain point of pain and if I don't itch it then I start to kind of like have spasms so my leg would start like twitching and stuff as well so it's a nightmare I know but I'm just laying here staying still and I'm gonna chill on my phone for a bit so I'm probably just gonna go through my social media maybe try and watch a few YouTube videos just to try and distract myself and just to take my mind off of the pain if I can so I'm going on Instagram first this girl is called Megan. I follow her on Instagram. That's her Instagram handle there. But she owns the company called Lumi Lens, where I get my contact lenses from. She's so beautiful and literally she rocks every eye colour, I swear. So I'm going to double tap that. And then, yeah, I'm just going to keep scrolling through, to be honest. Just chilling, watching some makeup tutorials and stuff like that. My leg is starting to get a lot more painful now, so I've come off my phone for a bit. Um, because social media can only distract me to a certain extent sometimes the pain does get really bad and sometimes I do just literally need to lie down and rest and chill out and I have to do that just to give myself the best chance of like enjoying the rest of my day so I'm gonna lay down for a bit I'm gonna chill out and hopefully my allergic reaction will stop soon <laughs> So 
my allergic reactions move from like my shin it's spread up my leg past my knee now so, so it's just about reaching my thigh i'm sorry if my voice sounds weird it's just that i am in quite a bit of pain now so i'm just gonna carry on resting i just wanted to explain to you guys what's happening it's probably been about 30 minutes now i'm hoping that this will be over soon so it's now been about 50 minutes since i last spoke to you guys my skin is feeling a lot better it is calming down now it still feels sensitive it still feels a little bit sore but i feel like this is probably the best it's going to get today so i'm going to get up out of bed and i'm going to try and get properly dressed for my day i'll show you what i mean by properly dressed though so the best thing for me to wear when my skin's feeling like this is something like this tracksuit so ideally i wouldn't wear tracksuits all the time but they are literally the only thing that i can wear without feeling really uncomfortable like if i try to put on jeans fucking hell would i know it i literally never wear jeans anymore because they're so like rough and abrasive they just hurt my skin so today i'm gonna go with this tracksuit so i'm gonna get changed into this tracksuit and then i'm gonna see how my skin feels and we'll see if i feel well enough to try and carry on with my day joggers and leggings are just honestly the most comfortable thing for me to wear on my skin so it means that i turn up to most situations incredibly underdressed but it's for a reason so if you ever look at me and think why is she wearing a tracksuit that's why so my next obstacle is actually venturing out of the house so after getting dressed i don't feel like overly in pain but my skin doesn't feel completely settled either but it's a nice day so i'm gonna try and go on like a little walk i'm not gonna push myself much at all just because i know that obviously i've had quite a bad day with my skin so i'm just gonna take it slow just go out and get some fresh air just see if it helps me to feel a little bit better i'm just hoping that it will be okay because i really do just want to get out um my skin has been really bad this past like week or so so i haven't got out of my house much at all i spend so much time in the house because of my skin it makes it so difficult for me to get outside on a daily basis for so many reasons like quite a few days this week it's been raining outside and literally there may as well be acid falling from the sky that's what it feels like to me like it really is just hell on earth when it's raining so i literally rarely even attempt to leave the house on a rainy day unless i absolutely have to and if i have to leave the house when it's raining you can guarantee that i feel sick so i'm just getting some stuff together just gonna grab my car keys and a coat as well just in case the weather changes while i'm out also got my phone with me and i'm gonna take some headphones as well so that i can listen to some music as i walk so i'm outside it's really bright out here to be fair so i'm not vlogging the drive because it's literally like a five minute drive there's no point it does feel a little bit hot out so i'm a little bit worried about the heat but hopefully i'll be okay um i'm just happy that it's not raining to be honest because that is the main problem for me but i did check the weather as i always do before i leave the house and the weather did say that it's not meant to rain today so fingers crossed I'm not lying guys i'm the baddest bitch when it comes to parking my car i will tell you that now perfect So for me, the main way that I like to exercise really is just going for walks, just because since my skin condition took over, well, I like to do yoga as well, but walking and doing yoga is pretty much all I can do with my condition, just because obviously I'm allergic to my sweat, so I can't get too hot. Like I used to try to maintain my fitness by going to the gym, but obviously I had to stop doing that once my skin got so bad. And to be honest, I couldn't just face like not doing anything. Like I used to be such an active person. Like I say, I used to go to the gym like multiple times a week. I really loved it. And then all of that just changed. So for me, it's just really important to make sure that I can stay like doing something that makes me feel good. Like going for a walk on a day when my skin hasn't been too good just because having a sense of achievement when I do actually manage to accomplish something like that is so worth it I am starting to get a little bit sweaty well, not sweaty, but hot. So I'm going to sit down on this bench for a sec just to give myself a little bit of a breather. That is the main thing that I'm trying to practice at the moment is like being kinder to myself. My therapist has picked up that like I'm very like... I don't know I'm really harsh on myself like when I can't do something or when I do can't do something without having an allergic reaction or you know my allergic reaction holds me back from something like I'm so quick to be like oh my god you useless bitch 
and I need to be kinder to myself like I need to learn to be like well you know your allergic reaction did happen today it did definitely cause some pain but you still got out you still went for a walk you know you still got this done you still got dressed you still didn't stay in bed all day crying like it's all progress so just try to be kind to yourself because that is something that I'm really trying to practice and work on at the moment to be honest so yeah I would love for you guys to do that too and I'm literally just gonna sit here and enjoy the view it's so pretty Don't get me wrong though guys, I definitely don't get out of the house every single day. Like that is a huge, huge, huge reach. I definitely don't go out for a walk every single day. Why do people think I'm a weirdo for having a camera? Like do you, is it really that like far-fetched in 2018 that like YouTubers exist? Why are you looking at me like I'm shitting in the middle of the park like a dog? Like I've got a camera that's it i think it's because people assume that you're being vain like people do know vlogging is a thing right like people do know that cameras aren't just to take selfies like and even if i was taking a selfie in the park like what is that your business no okay so i'm just about finishing my walk i've gone all the way around the park now um i am definitely feeling sore in my skin um i'm definitely walking a lot slower now and maybe a little bit stiffer because my skin is feeling really sore but i do still think it was positive to come out and get some fresh air i am slightly vitamin d deficient because of the lack of sun that i get because of my condition so it is always really important for me to try and get out and just try and get some fresh air anyway whether i feel good or not so I'm just walking back to my car now. I'll get back to my car, sit down, wait for myself to feel a little bit better, and then I'll drive home. Trust the process. Here's my little friend. Hello. How are you? Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, she's nicking me. Come on then, let's go in. So now that I'm home and back in my bedroom, I'm probably gonna keep on what I'm wearing, but I'm just gonna chuck on my dressing gown because my dressing gown is my life. Then I think I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day chilling. I'm gonna have something for lunch and I'm just gonna try and rest my body just because that's what I have to do when it comes to bad skin days. It's not always what I had planned or it's not always what I wanted to do. So for the rest of the day, I'm gonna get some good food in my system. I'm gonna have some lunch soon. I might have something a little bit naughty. I probably shouldn't, but I might do. Then I'm gonna give Mark a call at some point, see what he's doing, seeing if he wants to chill. Um, just cause obviously he didn't stay last night. So I wanna see him cause I'm starting to miss him. So I'm just going to do some planning, get things ready for tomorrow's filming and then I'm just going to spend the rest of my evening trying to chill out and rest my skin. Look how good looking you are. Hey babes, have you got a new haircut? Oh, you're so good looking though. Can I get your number? Well, I said that I was going to try and have a healthy lunch but then Mark turned up with mcdonald's so what can you do so i just got a double cheeseburger with some fries he brought some lunch for my mum and my dad as well and obviously himself so yeah we haven't been healthy today i'll try again tomorrow okay so it's been like a solid few hours since i last spoke to you so i chilled with mark for a bit and then my skin started getting really really bad like i just started having a random allergic reaction whilst i sat there so i then spent like the next hour and a half or so in bed um in quite a lot of pain with my skin to be honest i don't know why but i don't always have like a clear explanation as to why my skin's bad i found some energy afterwards to kind of like sort my hair out i just try and make myself feel a little bit more alive hasn't worked 100 percent. i'm not gonna lie to you guys like i do still feel a little bit dead quite dead in fact but that's just what allergic reactions do to me they take the energy out of me i do spend a lot of my days where i lose kind of like a good few hours of my day to pain at the very least i don't want to be dishonest in anything that i tell you so i will say that you know at the moment i am a little bit fed up with it like the pain does get too much at points and you know obviously when you imagine how many hours of you know my days my week i lose to pain it does 
add up as you can see from this vlog it's just really really difficult and i do struggle um but i'm optimistic that things will get easier soon i know i keep saying it but i do truly believe that if i keep saying it it will happen so i'm gonna wrap the video up here because where i've gotten dressed my skin is starting to feel uncomfortable again so i don't really see myself being very interesting for the rest of today just because my energy levels are just like at zero right now honestly so that has been a day in the life of being allergic to water i hope it's helped you to understand like what a regular day in my life is like with my skin condition but yeah thank you for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it if you did make sure that you smash a thumbs up down below so that i know that you like kind of like day in the life slash vlog type videos and then i can keep doing them for you before i go angels please 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 don't forget to subscribe to my channel it really will help me out so much thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video